Hey, what's going on everybody? Hopefully you're having a great day. What do we got? A little bit, a uh, little bit into the afternoon. Hey, listen, I wanna give you guys one more thing to think about if, as if uh, there's not enough going on when you're, when you're working out, any form of working out, there's a lot going on. So I wanna share just one more thing to add to the, uh, to the mental side of things. But before I do that, I wanna say hello and introduce myself. My name is Joe and I'm the creator of the 90 Day Dad Development Program where we implement my triad training methodology and we've been doing this for some time now, a few years, a few years. And over those years, we've taken gentlemen just like us, go from soft to solid. And I've done this myself too. I've, I've slipped up and uh, fell in some hard times as well as far as fitness goes. And I have taken the back, my fitness has taken the back seat as well. So if you wanna know more about that triad training, the 90 day development program, just DM me real quick, send details, and you and I can jump on the phone and we can talk that through. All right, so here we go. Here's what I want you guys to think about. So when you're working out, I call it the mind to muscle connection. And now that's not anything revolutionary. That's very common approach. I, I do happen to believe in it and think it's very, very uh, pivotal in your progress, in your success, on your, uh, in your working out. But basic, oh man, look at these guys. Yeah, so there you go, check that out. Pretty nasty stuff over there for my cupping and my, my scraping. Uh, anyway, so, uh, but I still do highly recommend it. But uh, that mind to muscle connection, I happen to believe is very, very, very important because once you can mentally wrap your head around what you're trying to achieve physically, I don't know what the percentage is, but I do know that your body will have a little bit of a higher success rate. I do know and have experienced personally with myself and my clients that when you believe that you can do something or you can envision that you can do something, you have a much higher um, positivity rate as far as actually doing it. Okay, so even if it's something that you haven't done before, I do want you to go into a lift, into an exercise, uh, into a rotation or a circuit or whatever it is, uh, a workout class, if you will. Envision what you're going to do. Imagine yourself doing it. See yourself doing it. Make that visual connection with what the physical is going to do and then go ahead and do it. It'll be a little bit easier. It's like uh, if any of you were athletes, I know before the game, I would close my eyes and I would visualize the first 10 plays uh, of the game. I would walk through them. What would that feel? What would I see? What would I do? And then when I stepped out onto the field, it was like I've already done it. So it wasn't doing something for the first time, okay? So when you're going into your lifting, I want you to take that, that little extra step, that little mental component with you when you uh, embark on your physical. The other thing, another mental sort of, of approach that I want you guys to take into consideration is being mindful of your movements, okay? Yes, this is mind to muscle connection, but I want you to be mindful of your movements. So let's just say, for instance, you're doing a push-up or a bench press or some sort of pressing movement. I want you to be mindful of the movements, meaning what muscles are coming into play? What is the action that your body is actually trying to do or achieve? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to achieve? I want you to think that through. Not just going into the exercise, into the workout um, and thinking it through, but on a rep by rep, set by set basis. Every single one, I want you to be very mindful of what you're doing and feeling, okay? So there's a huge, huge, huge psychological component uh, to lifting, not just motivational um, or if you're down in the dumps and kind of overcoming that, I want you to be very, very mental and psychological when it comes to your lifting, okay? Mind to muscle connection, go for it, do it, envision it, feel what you're going to do, and be mindful of your movements. Pay attention to what you're trying to do and trying to achieve. Hey, that's all I got. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.